Alright, we're going to go through some winch basics. Well, you have your standard uh, Stapp Industries 12,000 pound winch, uh, gas operated with a 3.5 horsepower motor or a 3 horsepower. That's a 3.5. And uh, we have it slinged off to a tree behind us with one of our slings. We use boulder slings down there to move the boulders also. We have a giant six, uh, 16,000 pound yellow sling for moving the larger boulders. Um, we also have uh, little choker cables, just standard tree chokers you can get from uh, different places. Uh, Baileysonline.com sells the tree chokers. Pioneer Mining um, sells the winches. Of course, uh, Staff Industry sells the winches. Keen Industries sells the winches. Armadillo Mining sells the winches. All your mining stores are going to have this winch or other ones like it. Um, there's also hydraulic winches on the market that are really good too but this is cheap and it works good. What we got going on is we always start out with a cable stretched out completely as far as it'll go because that way your drum has the most strength because it's smaller diameter. You know as the cable goes around it gets lar larger out you're not going to have the full capabilities running of the winch and you're going to take chances of you know snarling up the cable so we always start with the cable all the way out. So what I'm going to do Set it up here, just pull it tight, so we can start out with a tight pull. I've got good cable, I usually wear gloves, but I don't have them on right now because they're sitting over there. Alright, we just have a standard brake right here, it holds the cable, it's also taken to the tree. Just open it up, slide your cable in, let it go, and it's tight now. I'm not going to bother filming how the cable goes on, it's going to go on perfect. Um, winching is winching. What I want you to see is the boulder. We'll probably do a little time lapse photography on that coming up. But this is all set up and we're ready to pull on this end. Okay, so that's our operation. We got our cable locked, the cable is locked into place. And it's slung around that tree. Then we have our winch here, slung around a second tree. There's nothing in the way. And we're going to set it up at the hole right now. better picture. We're using our new boulder sling we just made. The thing we like about that boulder sling is once it catches a rock, though it can come out, it does not usually. Um, we've already gone through three or four slings this year in the different eras we've been in. We've gone through two of our own homemade ones. This is our third one for the year. We've gone through two store-bought ones, one giant one we use for the big boulders. Cable's wrapping nicely on its own. I'll just pan around real quick. Probably enough, quick enough to make you guys sick to your stomach, but... There's that. I'll go back over there in just a second and reposition it. Make sure it's coming down right for the next one. Like I said before, when you're using a truck, it goes a whole lot faster. You pull, you go forward, you go 10 miles an hour, 
the boulder comes out. The sit up here is a little slower, but when you're far away from a road like we are now, it's just fine. All right, we gotta stop. He's gonna unhook a leg. We're gonna take some slack out and probably just pull it out by hand. You want me just to go ahead and lift the slack off and just grab it by hand? Uh, no, uh-uh, because it's in the basket. Okay. Yeah, we have to... Okay, we still got the rock hooked up. The cable's pretty tight. It's a small boulder, so it's gonna come out of the sling real easy. We wanna get the slack off of here safely, not just have it snap out and create a fish net up in here, just a, a giant, you know, nest of cables everywhere. So what I'm gonna do, put this bar on here, just to hold down on the clamp, so it doesn't go flying out backwards on its own without me controlling it, then I'm just gonna let it up on the safety. And real slowly, let's take the pressure off, pull it out. I'll keep my hand in place so I don't get the big old fish nest. Got to keep the tension on there. I'm pretty good now. All right, that ought to be enough. There, I just locked it back into place, so it's sitting there. It's ready for me to start right back up and pull the net out. I also use the bar for sticking in the sides and getting my tape, my cable going the right way when I need to. But for the most part, it runs pretty darn good on its own. I got no complaints. He just went ahead and rolled it out of there on its own. So I'm going to take the cable the rest of the way out. Hey, and that's uh, how you winch a boulder. It's a small one, but we're there. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to pull the boulder sling out of this one. There's our cable and our winch. You can see even though we started all the way out, so you can see even though we started with it all the way out, we used almost a full drum just getting that boulder up here. We took it a little farther than we, than we wanted to, but it's a round one we didn't want in our hole. We leave flat ones out there as stepping stones. So we have something to walk on if they're up out of the water enough. We take the round ones out of the way because they're nothing but a hazard. Let me show you how I'm going to get this undone without getting the rat's nest in here. Now hold down on this. Because it was a larger boulder, I'm going to undo the brake on here. It's not going to pull because it's out. I'm just going to lift up. Make sure it doesn't come out too fast on its own. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out steadily. So 
So I just want to keep a good even tension on here as it's coming out. You don't want to let up tension because if you do, that's when you get the rat's nest. Generally, it'll start rat's nesting as soon as I go to the last layer. Easily taken care of. Keep, keep pulling it out. Oh. And there it is. That's the last. So what I've found out is easiest to do, put this bar right underneath the handle. Lift it up, let it come through, let it go down. This way, you're not going to have it just wrap up around in there and you have to call your, your boulder man back up here, you know, to help you get the rat's nest out. And that's the last one. Okay? And that's boulder winching right there. Well, the sun's going down, and we're here for the last pull of the day. He's getting it set up. I'm going to try and get this one more pull in for you guys. This is a larger boulder. It's about the maximum for that smaller net we built. And since it's a nice flat rock, we're going to try and put it in just the right spot. So we have a real nice large stepping stone. So we can just hip hop across the top of the rocks, ha ha, and dive into our hole. Because we have the cable slings on there, all we got to undo is one side to take it out and around and have it pull off. But generally that basket a lot of times will just come off on its own with just a little bit of pulling. Then we'll set that rock into place, throw some tailings around it, and it'll be there. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is a good boulder sling. Hold it up for us, Jim. Pardon me? Go ahead and hold it up like that. Hold it up? You got it right there. And there's Jim and his design, his boulder sling in action. Hey, it's been a great video. You guys have a great night. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy hunting.